Hi everybody, this is Bonnie and I'm going to show you how to make this card today. Um, I got this idea off from Stampin' Connection. So I really liked it. I changed it up a little bit from the way that they did things. So let's just get started. Okay. First thing we got is an eight and a half by um, five uh, and a half piece of cardstock. And I ended up folding that in half. So that makes it four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. Standard card. So that's going to be our base. This is color. It's called Pool Party. Then the next um, piece that we're going to put on the card is um, called Carlos Poe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, these are the in colors, the in colors for in the catalog. And also, all this paper and stuff that I am showing you today, with the exception of the greeting the, that I'm putting on it, is all in the um, celebration catalog. So for every $50 worth of Stamping Up product that you order, you will get an item for free. So you could either get the solid paper, you can get the pattern paper. It is The paper is absolutely wonderful. And this is the um, pattern paper and it's double sided. I just, it's hard to choose which side you like. So um, this piece is four by one and a half inches. And we are going to Put this down here at the bottom of the paper, like this, and then we're okay. So, to how I got this piece um, to get that design on it, um, Stampin' Up is selling in the occasional mini catalog. Is selling these? Um, oh, I can't think of what they're called. They're so new. Elegant accents. And can you just put them on the paper. They're kind of just like the spellbinder ones that are out there, if anybody has seen them or used them. And so you just put it on the edge of the paper, wherever you want it on the paper. And then for stamping up, you have to have all three tabs in the big thick block. Then you put the clear mat down and then the other clear mat on top of it. And then you'd run it through the stamp or the Sizzix machine and then it would come out and it would look like this. It's just easier for me to kind of explain it than to bring the whole machine over. So that's how I got this piece. So we're just gonna put some adhesive on this and I'm putting this piece right here. Now for the little squares what I did was I punched out one in each one of the pattern designs that I have that I chose. I needed four different um, designs. So the um, these are the ones that I chose and I punched using Stamping Up's punches. I used the one and three eighths and the one and a quarter inch punch. Now I'm going to take um, the corner rounder and I'm going to put it in and I'm going to punch out the opposite side of each corner. So like I punched this one so I wanted to punch that one there. And I punched this one and I'm going to punch this one. And you're going to do this to all of the pieces. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a Stampin' Up! Dimensional and we're going to put one right in the center of the smaller punch and then we're going to line up 
like this point almost so it's to the edge but not really quite you want a little bit of it showing but you want a bigger edge on one side it's hard to really even see I hope the camera is going to pick it up and that's just to kind of give it an off-center look a little bit so it kind of looks like that <clears throat> go so it looks like that and then we're going to take and we're going to put all our pieces um down on the little card here i kind of set them up first like this like how i want them so then i can determine how far apart and then i just pick up one at a time i'm okay with if it's not exactly centered so i'm okay with this ran out of sticky strip or snail so I'm using my big one that I use for scrapbooking and I'm it's hard to use it on little pieces like this <laughs> so then the next thing we want to do is I want to add a button and this is the bright pack button that um is in our stamping up catalog but also you can get this whole pack of buttons in the celebration um, mini or not the celebration in the um yeah celebration catalog um right now that they have for uh stamping up if you order 50 dollars or more you could pick the buttons out if you wanted to so i'm going to use a pop dot well a glue dot <laughs> keep wanting to call it a pop dot and i'm just going to stick this right in the center <sighs> This is so adorable. Just like that. Now we're going to stamp on this. We're going to use Early Espresso. And Happy Anniversary. Because I can't find my Stamp-A-Majig mat right now, I'm going to hope that I get this very centered. I'm sorry if my head is in the video. No, oh, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. So... Uh, there you go and that is oops and there you go that is my card so um thanks for stopping by bye bye